Good morning. For those of you who are here, please stand or stop and stand in the hall where you are. Today we pray for all the communities that make up the Beckman community. We are mindful of the way friends, neighbors, and even strangers have shaped who we are. We also remember how our various communities make Beckman Catholic what it is. We also pray today for Tyler Wolf, Brian Osterhaus, Linda Mertz, Carmen Reinhardt, for the soul of Father Kuhn and the comfort of his friends and family in 12 special intentions. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, our Maker, we praise you for the gift of community. Thank you for the communities in which we work and live. Thank you for the community that is your body, the church. Fill us with your spirit today so that as one, we reflect your light and love to each other and to the world. In Christ we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please remain standing for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. We're going to do announcements at the end of the award ceremony today so that we can save some time and start working on the photo. So before you leave the room, I need you to please pay attention to these directions. We are going to move, dismiss you by grade. When you come down, we're going to put you into formation. So we're starting with the seniors, and then we're going to work our way to the seventh graders. In each row, you're going to go six people to a row. And then Mr. Wade from there, if we need to make adjustments, will be up uh, in the balcony, and he has a microphone, so please listen to those items. We can do this in a very short amount of time, or it's going to take us a long amount of time. So we just need your help and cooperation so that we can get this accomplished. It would be a nice thing to have. We haven't done one of these since I've been principal, so it would be a nice memento for you to have as well when we publish this photo. With that, seniors and juniors, please make your way to the auditorium, sorry, to the competition gym at this time. Again, seniors and juniors. <laughs> Grade students, 10th grade students, please come down to the competition gym at this time.
graders are going to come down. Eighth graders, you're going to stay in the comments until we tell you to come in. Ninth graders, please go right into this room. Thank you. Seventh graders, you can make your way to the commons at this time and just hold there until we give you instructions. Thank you.
a little time.
Good, well, good morning. We want to welcome our parents and grandparents and guests who are with us this morning, those who aren't able to be with us physically that are watching on the school's YouTube channel. We want to welcome you to our 2024 Academic Awards Ceremony. As we begin this morning, we're going to start with prayer. So please join me in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's feast is the Feast of the Presentation, which is 50 days after the birth of Christ. It's also sometimes known as Candle Mass because it's a day where candles were traditionally blessed. But the day symbolizes the day that Jesus was offered up for the first time to the Lord, as all uh, males are after 50 days in the Jewish tradition. Uh, and it was a foreshadowing of his time where he paid the ultimate sacrifice and be offered for our sins and for our eternal salvation. So we pray, as always, that the Lord would guide and protect us, help us to fulfill our mission uh, to make disciples today and saints for eternity. And we pray to our Heavenly Father together as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we welcome you this morning. Our award ceremony today is recognizing our students for academic achievement who have earned an academic letter. We also recognize today uh, students who have been awarded with the scholarships that we award for senior year through the top of the class scholarship as well as the Sister Mary Claire Scholarship Award. So we'll begin this morning with our academic award starting with our seniors. Seniors uh, receive an academic letter for achieving a cumulative grade point average in the senior year of 3.5 or above after seven semesters. So all these students have maintained that. They will also be awarded um, and uh, graduating with honors later this year as well. So as I call your name, please come up to the stage, receive your academic letter from Mr. Ethelman and from Mr. Leek. And then we're gonna ask by grade level that you would stand and wait up here until all members of your grade have been introduced and we'll then take a pause and then we'll move on to the next grade. So seniors earning an academic letter include Benton Bogey. Teresa Braun. <laughs> Brianna Cooey. Maria Dudzik. Anthony Friedman. Seniors, if I mess up your name, this is good practice for me for about five months, three, four months from now. Sophia Geiskemper. Alyssa Gert. Joseph Kalkutsky. Sophia Klosterman. Emerson Kramer. Brett Cruzy. Madeline Cruzy. Maria Cruzy. Kaylee Lehman. Courtney Lee. Isabel Luchin. Connor McCarraher. Laura McGrain. Julia Mertz. Hope Neighbor. Maxwell Overbreckling. Reese Osterhaus. Caitlin Petchy. Mitchell Randall.
Mallory Ray. James Roberts. Sarah Rowling. Andrew Sauron. Michael Schilling. Jacob Schlarman. Melanie Schmelzer. Madeline Schmitz. Morgan Schulte. Vivian Schuster. Luke Sigworth. Kelly Snyder. Jessica Thane. Drew Thier. Thomas Thier. And Riley White. Let's get a round of applause for these students. All right. All right, go ahead and have a seat. A right, little about how we give out these awards as the seniors take their place back. So, the first time you receive an academic letter, you receive a gold lamp, and also you'll receive a B uh, for if the case you want to have a letter jacket, you can then put it on there. Each subsequent year you receive an academic letter, you get a gold bar to go underneath that lamp. So, students receiving this award for the first time again get the lamp and the B, and then if it's a Subsequent year, you'll get a bar. So if you're wondering what you're getting when you're coming up here, that's what those are. So juniors who earn an academic letter, they have to have a cumulative grade point average of 3.7 or above after the five semesters. So that would be the last semester of their junior year so far. So as I call your name, juniors, please come forward and follow the senior's example in terms of standing over here to the side. Juliana Bennett. Caitlin Bezler. Ellie Brown. Sean Brunsman. Kayla Burkle. Mitchell Clement. Anna Cortez. Griffin Davis. Paige Domeyer. Parker Domeyer. Aiden Engler.
Chloe Gedkin. Kelsey Gedkin. Nicole Gedkin. Rebecca Gert. Marie Grebner. Carter Hagman. Ellie Hartman. Carissa Heisler. Zachary Helley. Cole Hirsch. Derek Hager. Gabrielle Hager. Alexi Hogan. Hannah Hoover. Emma Karcher. Cooper Kloss. Haley Kleisner. Anna Napper. Jessica Cates. Elizabeth Kronlogge. Amber Lehman. Mary McKean. Lucas Oltman. Eva Ray. Madeline Ryder. Eurydia Rodriguez. Allie Sherbring. Jacob Schmidt. Caitlin Schmidt. Anna Spearslogge. Luke Wessel. Gabrielle Westoff. Gianna Westoff. Judith Williams. And Aiden Walmer. Give a round of applause to our junior. sophomore year. Sophomores earn an academic letter for achieving a cumulative grade point average of 3.85 or above. 
after the first semester sophomore year. As your name is called, please come to the stage. Jeremy Braun. Ava Burkle. Maggie Domeyer. Daniel Dudzik. Leah Funky. Adam Gall. Derek Getkin. Brody Hegman. Cody Hegman. Alexander Kerper. Shay Ludwig. Miley Modernock. Valerie Ray. Andrew Rowling. <laughs> Stephen Rowling. Gabriella Schilling. Andrew Schlarman. Emma Schlarman. Rachel Schwarten. Madeline Simon. Carter White. And Zach Wolfcool. Give a round of applause for our company. The last group of academic letter awards this morning are for our freshmen.
freshman earn an academic letter after achieving a cumulative grade point average of 4.0 or above for their first semester of high school. So as I call your name, freshman, please come to the stage. Natalie Fesler. Paige Fangman. <laughs> Allison Knipper. Benjamin Mickle. Ava Overbreckling. Zoe Raker. Levi Ryder. Ashley Schilling. Andrea Schneider. Molly Snyder. Hannah Taylor. Luke Williams. and Annabelle Zorodnik. Let's give a round of applause to our freshmen. The next award we present this morning is the class of 1997's Top of the Class Scholarship. This scholarship provides for two scholarships to Beckman Catholic students for their senior year of high school. The scholarship is in honor of Krista Deitmeyer and Dean Funky, two former Beckman Catholic students who are members of the class of 1997. Krista Deitmeyer was the daughter of Donald and Doris Deitmeyer of Dyersville. She was the salutatorian for the Beckman High School class of 1997. After graduating from high school, Krista continued her Catholic education by attending St. Ambrose University in Davenport. Krista's most outstanding personal quality was her joy of sharing her time and many talents with family and friends, and especially those younger than herself. One of her greatest treasures in life was her ability to see the good in others and the desire to bring out the best in everyone she knew. Krista lived her passion of sharing her gifts by pursuing a degree in early childhood development. Dean Funky was the son of Dave and Janan Funky of Dyersville. After he graduated in the top 10% of his class here in 1997, he continued his Catholic education by attending St. Ambrose University in Davenport, later transferring to Iowa State University in Ames. Dean was a talented leader who led by example. He had a big heart, a strong spirit of volunteerism, and was extremely compassionate. He was a natural leader who respected his peers and possessed a rare gift for touching people's lives. The top of the class scholarship requires meeting eligibility requirements, completing a written application, and then ha having an in-person interview with members of the Deitmeyer and Funky families along with the scholarship committee. It is awarded to the two students whose spirit most closely resemble that of Krista Deitmeyer and Dean Funky in the areas of character, service, leadership, and academics. Before we give out and name this year's recipients, if we have members of the Funky or Deitmeyer families or members of the Top of the Class Scholarship Committee, if you would come up to the stage, please.
the committee this year has had a plaque done, which has this year's award winners, as well as all the previous award winners that will be placed in the hallway following today's ceremony. So on behalf of the Top of the Class Scholarship Committee and the Funky and Deitmeyer families, it's my pleasure to introduce this year's winners of the Top of the Class Scholarship, Caitlin Besler and Judith Williams. Please come forward. Last award we present this morning is the Sister Mary Claire Miller Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to four current Beckman Catholic juniors. The scholarship is voted on by the staff members of the high school. Staff members are asked to choose students who demonstrate the outstanding academic efforts and also show characteristics of service, respect, responsibility, integrity, and initiative. The students selected for the Sister Mary Claire Scholarship this year are Sean Brunsman, Griffin Davis, Carissa Heisler, and Judith Williams. Please come to the stage and congratulations. After today's award ceremony, parents, if you'd like to have your students come up to take photos, we can do some more of those afterwards as well. And parents, the student government has informed me that there are some donuts remaining from our donut morning down in the commons, first come, first serve. So if you head down the hallway and go right in front of the library doors, there's some donuts there with napkins. You're welcome to go down and help yourself after this morning before you head back home or to work. Before we leave this morning, I'm going to go over today's announcements because we wanted to make sure we had enough time for the photo that we took beforehand. <coughs> so, lunch today is soft shell tacos with shredded cheese and lettuce and sour cream, refried beans and tortilla chips with salsa and queso. Yesterday uh, was the FFA Iowa Degree Review Night, so we want to congratulate the following FFA members who received and were approved for their Iowa FFA degree. Those students are Caitlin Besler. Libby Hagman, Amber Lehman, Madeline Ryder, and Michael Schilling. So let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> the Iowa FFA degree is the highest degree that an FFA member can earn at the state level. The only other higher honor is the American degree, which is given during your college years. So these five individuals will receive their recognition at the state convention later in April. Seventh and eighth graders watching from your classrooms. On Friday, February 9th, so that's next Friday night, we're having Junior High Game Night, sponsored by the Student Council. Doors open at 5.30. If you're interested in being on a team for that, there are sign-up sheets down in third hallway on the Student Council bulletin board. Uh, a reminder that if you're coming that night and going home with someone other than a family member, you need to bring a note to Mr. Neighbor. Uh, and then brackets, if you're signing up, sign up for a team by next Wednesday so that brackets can be posted and ready to go for game night. Cost to attend that evening is $3. Disc Golf Club, you're going to have practice in the Jasper Center Monday during Blazer time, so meet there in the Jasper Center. There'll be a golf meeting for any girls interested in playing golf this spring next Thursday during Blazer time. And on Monday, there'll be a meeting for Blaze, during Blazer time for any high school student interested in track and field in Mr. Meisner's room. 
Bryn Hagman and Jackson Parsons, please stop in the office. You have some messages. Happy birthday today to Gabrielle Hager. And then a reminder, our activities during the day today is bowling for grades 9 through 12. Tonight we have basketball animosa starting with the ninth grade boys at 4 o'clock. All right, after the ceremony again, we would ask today that those of you, especially those who received the scholarships, if you stay for photos, Mr. Wade's going to take some. Again, so please stay up here by the stage. Parents, you can make your way down to the commons and have some donuts if you'd like. Otherwise, freshmen, you're going to stay here because we're going to go from here to bowling across the street. Then after the freshmen get here, sophomores, you go next, so we'll call you at your time. Then it's seniors, then it's juniors. When you get called other than the freshmen, so 10th through 12th graders need your attention for 20 seconds. Okay. When we call you to head over to bowling, we're going to head to the front entrance since it's a nice day outside. We'll meet right by the front doors. The teachers and staff that are accompanying you will walk, will walk over together to the bowling alley. You'll get to bowl your games. We have your assignments as well in case you don't know which lane you were assigned to. When time's up, we'll gather again, come back here to the front doors. You'll head back to whatever class period it is when you come back or to lunch. With that, we want to thank you for coming this morning. And parents, thank you for all that you do to make things possible here at Beckman Catholic. We could not do it without you. Students, congratulations on pers your pursuit of academic excellence as we demonstrated this morning. With that, thanks for coming. Uh, seniors, you can head back. It is 9.02, so we have a few extra minutes. So you can, uh, if you want to talk with your parents this morning, that's fine. Class starts at 9.18. But otherwise, you can visit with classes or make your way down to first hour. We'll start on time at 9.18.